fun is up guys hey what's up guys it's early on a Saturday morning and I'm off for a ride today I'm heading over to the west coast that's right I'm gonna go over towards Dargaville and then head up to Kaiwi Lakes and then maybe go up through the Waipoa forest and uh, yeah we'll go around those parts and of course guys what is a trip without visiting the bloody petrol station Yeah, like I say, I'm going to head over towards Kai Iwi Lakes. Um, Kai Iwi Lakes is a very popular destination. So from Kai Iwi Lakes, I'm probably going to shoot up the coast, go up through the forest, the Waipoa Forest, uh, go see Tane Mahuta. Um, you're probably wondering what, what or who is Tane Mahuta. You'll have to wait and see. Yes, folks, and then from the Waipoa Forest, Tane Mahuta will head up the coast and we'll head up to... Um, the Hokianga Harbour and then we'll be heading on to Opononi probably stop uh, at Opononi for a bit of a snack a bit of feed maybe either that or we just keep on trucking because today while it's starting off nice and fine right now today is forecast full rain so I'm out early and I'm going for it yeah that's the run for today folks Let's go. Well guys, today I wanted to have a little yarn about a subject that I just noticed on social media a little bit more. And that is the subject of wearing safety gear. You know, this subject's been talked about a lot. You know, it comes up all the time. People say this, they say that, and da 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 But anyway, from my point of view, I generally wear safety gear. On long trips, I always wear safety gear, always no compromise not at all doesn't matter if it's stinking hot or freezing cold I'm still in my safety gear you know like today probably gonna be 28 degrees maybe or maybe 26 26 degrees today 26 degrees Celsius that is so I'm still got all my gear on you know I'm still I'm going on a reasonable trip today it's probably a four hour ride so I've got the gears and I would always have the gears so as you can see down there you know, look, down there I got my uh, my riding boots. These are full grain, big leather boots that come up ankle high, come up to about, about here. Um, they've got all the reinforcing everywhere they need to have. They've got um, in the in the ankle, uh, around your ankle bones and stuff, they, they've got, on well, your foot there, they've got, um, you know, the protection. Those little pad, the pad things are built into them. Um, and these boots happen to be waterproof. Oh, they got a Cortex liner in them, and then I got. Then as we come up the path, up the uh, way, we've got these these jeans. Now these jeans look like just jeans, but those of us who are riders know they know these jeans are Kevlar lined. That's right. Got knee pads in them. Got all the gears in them. Um, you know they're, they're pretty good jeans. They're, they're not bad. Um, and of course, as you can see got the gloves always got the gloves on now these gloves have the reinforcing all over them look at them on the knuckles here got the knuckles um, the fingers you know the whole thing and these are waterproof gloves um, one thing that comes with waterproofing is heat you know and, uh, they're not the most breathable gear but that's what I've got so that's what I'm using so that's what I've got there and of course I've got my leather jacket on you see this here got the leather jacket it's a uh, pretty solidly leather solid leather jacket um, it's got the elbow pad I mean sorry it's got the shoulder pads up here you can see it up here um, in the elbows in the elbows here you could they've got the padding in there you know those uh, the armor I should say I'm calling it padding but the armor armors in the elbows and that um, armor in the back you know so I'm pretty much got all the gear on, eh? You know, that's that's my gears. That's a thing, eh? And I just, like I said, I noticed on social media people making comments about other riders not wearing gear. Now, who am I to talk about someone else, eh? 
you know, I don't generally make comments on those sort of posts. Uh, if I'm with a group of fellas and I see a guy or girl that's not wearing a lot of gear, you know, we might have the conversation, but it'll be a friendly banter, you know. You get a feel, get to suss out what's going on. Why are they wearing, not wearing, why are they not wearing the gear and why are they wearing the gear, you know, you've got to suss it out, see what's happening and see what their reasonings are. Some people are just natural risk, risk takers and for them, the, uh, <clears throat> they've weighed up the risks and they just, they're, they're living with them. So hey, there's a lot of risks in a lot of things we do and there's also the argument that oh it's around town I don't really need it well doing 50 60 kilometers an hour around town yeah you go sliding along the asphalt you go sliding down the road you're still going to feel it yeah guys so hey you know if you want to you know, people use the excuse people say hey oh, it's in town I don't really need to wear the gears I don't need this I don't need that that's fair enough I'm not saying I don't ride without the gears on all the time you know around town yeah I've been known to wear a pair of shorts and a singlet but uh, I know the risks and I'm comfortable with the risks um, as for the open road mm, I can almost say it's a next to never. I'm always wearing the gear on the open road. But I'm saying this in town, like I was saying it, but like I was saying in town, you come off and you slide down that road, it's still gonna hurt and you're still gonna lose skin if even if it's a 50 k's an hour. Anyway guys, what are your thoughts on that? As you see, I've just hit the hundred and it's time to go! Next up, Dagable folks! Righto folks, I'm just coming into Dargaville. Yeah, Dargaville's a reasonable sized little town. Um, as you can see, it's got the warehouse. You know, supermarkets, you know, it's, it's not a, a little sleepy backboard. Well, it's not a tiny little town, put it that way. Uh, you gotta watch out for these locals. <laughs> just going one, one, one park closer. Holy hell! That's Dargaville, man. Dargaville. Well, this is it. Dargaville town. Oh, look at this good old hunting and fishing. You know, you've made it when you've got a hunting and fishing in your town. That's uh, that's the main drag, the main street, Dargaville town. I've fueled up, still got plenty of gas, so let's go. Yes, as I was saying, the Dargaville is on the banks of the, the northern Wairoa River, the big river. Look at it, there she be, big murky muddy river. Look at it, hey? It doesn't get any clearer than that. On a good day, that could be that colour. So, yeah, there it is, eh? She's a uh, beautiful, isn't it? Anyway, that goes out up to the Kaipara Harbour, off to the west coast, of course. And here's my turn off. Okay, guys, this is it. Here's the turn off to Kai Iwi Lakes.
Now you can see like there's a bit of a you know sandy beaches around us and it's sandy but this is a freshwater lake. This is the day visitor spot right here. Park up where you want. See, this is the campground, eh? And I could be a cheeky bagger, I just ride around these things, but uh, I'm not going to do that. I don't need to do that. What I want is to get a spot on the lake edge. Okay guys, this is the shores of Lake Kaiui. Look at this. Yeah, I'm just on the bike here. Look at this, I'm just here on the shores of the lake. Great day today. A um, little bit overcast, but it's nice and beautiful, sunny. Great day today. Look at this, there are people out here. They're on a the little pontoon over here, jumping off it. You can see the different colors in the lake. It goes from shallow to very deep, just drops off. And uh, this is a freshwater lake. So, you know, it's, um, it's pretty awesome. So you can see the campers, people setting up. Um, that's the main campground over there for this area here. And where I am here, this is the day area. There's a big section along the beach here. It's for day uh, day people, day trippers, you know, pull up. And you're only supposed to stay the day here. If you want to stay the night, it's over that way. Or there's other campgrounds over that way somewhere. So anyway, guys, this is Lake Kaiui. Awesome, eh? Let's have a look from the air again. Righto guys, this is, that's me for the day folks. Um, hey, this is Kaiwi Lakes. Another great northern destination. Um, you know, it's fresh water. And out over that way is the coast. Um, and as you can hear, see the day trippers. See that little beach over there, that beach over there. I remember coming out here years ago, years ago. Rode our motorbikes on that beach. <laughs> One of the guys got a little bit bogged. Yeah, we got him off though. We got him off there. But you know, things you do. It was a long time back now. Anyway, guys, that's uh, Kauri Lakes. Everyone wants that spot. <laughs> It's a beachfront spot, so good on them. Take it. They go in there to relax and have good times right on the beach, so good on them. Anyway, guys, that's Kyrie Lakes. Yeah. As I keep saying, guys, let's go.